Hey everyone, in this video I created my dream PC setup inside of Blender. This is by no means a tutorial but I will talk over some of the things that I did and if you are new around here a sub would be greatly appreciated and now enjoy the video. So the first thing that I did was grab some measurements for the table and then I just box modeled it. It's very important that you use correct proportions and measurements. Even though this render is pretty cartoony, I still use them because it makes it look a lot more realistic. I then added a LED panel at the back and made a little block out for where I thought the computer would sit. I did the same thing for the monitors, it was pretty straightforward. Next I decided to add a little shelf on the top left and a cool little hex panel which is pretty popular. Also made a pole for the back of the monitor screens and then I inset the face of the monitors uh, to create a little bezel. I quickly modelled the uh, mouse pad and I added a little thing at the back where the cable would run off. I also decided that I was going to have a big TV at the top. So that was the same thing as the monitors, just I made it a bit bigger. Next I imported a keyboard model which I made earlier. You can find that on my Patreon, a link will be in the description. I then went and searched for a free mouse model which I found uh, so the link for that will be in the description you can download it for free. So I imported it and then I put it onto the mouse pad next to the keyboard. I did make some adjustments to it, I removed the cable and made my own one with the cable rater add-on, the link for that will be in the description and that's how I also made the cables for the rest of the scene. Next I decided I didn't like the legs on the table so I instead added some of those custom you know, standard IKEA shelves that sit below, I've seen them quite a lot. So I just box modeled the little shelves there and then mirrored it over to the other side, looking at reference images on Google why I did so. For the next thing I wanted to create one of those little Elgato stream decks which are quite popular so I went and looked at some reference images and then started to box model it. The geometry was quite messy but it didn't really matter because you couldn't see it in the final render.
I used to put the box cutter add-on to add those little things on the front there. Link will be in the description for that as well. And then I just inset the faces and arrayed them. And then rotated the thing and put it on the table. Next I decided to create the microphone because obviously if you're streaming then you're going to have a microphone. So I basically modeled it off my own microphone and I also looked at some reference images online. It was pretty simple for the most part. I just added lots of little primitive objects and combined them all together to make it look pretty realistic. Took quite a lot of fidgeting to get it right, but I was pretty happy with the final result for the microphone. Unfortunately, the microphone was a lot of just doing the same thing over and over again, but there wasn't really much that could be done about that. I could have added some more detail like springs, but I unfortunately I forgot about them and sort of ran out of time for this project. As you can see quite a few cylinders were used and for this thing I just added a little solidify modifier to it to make that sort of pop filter. For the microphone I used Alt E uh, which is the hotkey to sort of um, extrude it inwards. I then went around and just generally adjusted a few things like those hex files up there. The cable rotor add-on came in very handy for making the cable that holds it up. It would have taken me a bit longer without it. Uh, so once again, link for that will be in the description. I also used cable rotor to make the cable that goes to the PC. And then I also made the cables for the mouse and the keyboard by doing the same thing. Cable Rater has this draw function which makes it very easy to make it sit right. Making the speakers was pretty similar to everything else. I just did the standard box modeling approach, although I did use hard ops and box cutter which helped me a bit with this one mainly to cut that boolean hole in it as you can see. I basically modeled it to the reference that you can see on my chrome uh, just with a little bit less detail. The next thing I did was add a little basic cable runway which would hide the cable as it goes up the wall. Obviously I didn't make the cable because you can't see that but I thought it looked pretty good. I did add an RGB ring around the mouse pad so I just um, selected the faces and then duplicated them and separated them. For the PC, I once again imported a model off Google. I will drop the link for that in the description along with all the rest of them.
after I position them all I put them all in a collection because it makes it a lot easier to select them later on because you can just hit shift G and then select by collection so it selects all the objects. The next thing I did was create the cables. I used the cable rater add-on that I mentioned earlier. Once again, link is in the description for that. It's a great add-on and I highly recommend it. Another add-on which I used was decal machine, which you can see on the screen right now. Uh, it just helps you to add little details like screws and things. I didn't record it by a, but I imported the chair and then I went around adding basic materials to all the objects. They're all pretty simple, I just sort of changed the colour and the roughness and that was about it for most of them. the chair I used control plus to grow the selection and then I just assigned the new color. The emission textures were just emission nodes and then I just changed the colour and the strength of them until it looked good. Make sure you add bloom in your compositor to make that look better when you're using cycles. For the TV and the monitor screens, what I did was get an image off Google um, and then I just added the image texture and adjusted the UVs until it looked right. What I did to get it, the light looking like an actual screen is I plugged the 
image into an emission node and then use that instead of the principled BSDF and I thought it looked a lot better. I did the same thing as what I did for the TV with the monitor screens, just it was a little bit more work because I had to get all three of them uh, to be matching. Now I'm not going to go through exactly what I did for the photoshopping because I literally just did a tutorial on that so you can go watch that if you want to see how I sort of do it but basically I just duplicated a new layer I just adjusted the camera raw filter and then after that I just went and added some simple adjustment layers and then I just painted on uh, a soft light layer and that was about it for the photoshop stuff so uh, thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a subscribe and a like it really helps my channel out and also go check me out on patreon if you want to download the scene files for this including the photoshop tutorial but other than that i'll see you in the next video and have a good one